What is up, MTG Portal? And tonight, we are going to discuss Magic the Gathering Modern Masters 2017, slated to release March 17th of 2017. Fantastic set, and my focus of our conversation tonight are two possible reprints. Let's check them out. Queen of the Veil. Yes, that's right. We are talking about Liliana of the Veil, one of the most influential and powerful Planeswalkers period. Um, she could be coming back in Modern Masters. There's a lot of talk in the Magic community, uh, Reddit being one of them, uh, that's huge, going on about how they believe this is going to be the one set that's going to reprint Liliana of the Veil. And I'm telling you right now, Modern Masters 2017, if there is a set to hoard boxes, and by no, no means do I support that idea, but if there is a set to take a box or two and just tuck it away, it's going to be Modern Masters 2017. Um, I would anticipate seeing these boxes skyrocket uh, months after launch. When the print the print run ends for 2017, guarantee these are going to go on eBay for five or 600 bucks a pop. I, I'm just saying it now, hands down, I'm almost betting you. Um, this set's going to get ridiculous. And this isn't the only reprint we're going to talk about tonight. The plausible reprints. Uh, but this is one of the biggest ones. Liliana of the Veil. Leave your thoughts down below, guys. I'd like to hear what you think. But I'm about 99.9% .9 certain that at some point in Magic history, we're going to see this card reprinted. And I couldn't think of a better set to do it than in Modern Masters. Bringing this card back as a chase card in the set is going to sell packs. It's going to sell. It's going to sell boxes. Um, that's exactly what Wizards and um, all of the, sh the shareholders are wanting to see. So I would not be surprised if we don't see her in this set. Uh, beyond that fact, I'm excited to see her reprinted. She's held steady at about hundred and four dollars, hundred and ten, depending on what site you buy her from. And I don't. I don't see or anticipate this reprint tanking her value. But I'm sure it's all going to be buying a bunch of boxes, and you'll see me open them right here on the channel, because getting my hands on a Liliana of the Veil, yeah, that's priceless, guys. Absolutely insane. Looking forward to that shenanigans. Alright, and next up, we do have the second plausible reprint from Wizards of the Coast and Modern Masters 2017, and that is Snapcaster Mage. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below, guys. He's held steady at right around the $50 price margin for, I mean, the entire duration. We've never seen a reprint other than promo, and that's the same with Liliana of the Veil. So I do think that Modern Masters 2017 would be a fantastic set to see Wizards and the entire team behind this game bring these two cards back in a reprint. Uh, do I think it's going to affect Snapcaster Mage in the value aspect of it? Um, maybe a little. Probably drop them down around the $40 range, which to be honest with you, if both these cards took a $10 to $15 hit in value, I wouldn't personally complain. They're still uh, expensive cards, fantastic cards, but they're going to be a little bit more accessible to the player base that can't afford them at their current standing. Reprints are not a bad thing to happen. Now, if they reprint this in like five and six sets like they've done with some of the dumber cards in the Magic the Gathering uh, history, then yeah, I'm completely against that. But a, a simple reprint in a Modern Masters 2017, I think would be fantastic. Especially for Snapcaster Mage. Um, leave your thoughts down below, guys. I'd really like to hear what you think. I will show you the card that I wish they'd reprint. I highly doubt we'll see it. But this is what I wish that would be reprinted in Modern Masters. Yeah, so this is my dream reprint right here. Damnation. It's been... Oh, you know, never, kind of like Liliana of the Veil and Snapcaster. I would love to see Damnation reprinted. Do I think this will ever get reprinted in Modern? Absolutely not. Um, maybe in the Eternal Masters block we might see it, um, but I highly doubt we'll ever see it reprinted in the Modern sets. But, you know, just a little history on Damnation. I mean, I to have a, a Wrath of God in black uh, is just beautiful. And the pure fact that it's two colorless, two black, is just a dream come true for me. I own the foil one, right around at 80 bucks. Um, and I will tell you that the non-foil Damnation is rolling right around 60. Uh, the foil, excuse me, actually has gone up to about 105. So the foil's actually gone up to the price of a Liliana of the Veil. 
That's absolute insanity. Um, this is another card that needs a reprint. When do I think we'll see it? I have no clue. Do I think we'll see it in modern? Absolutely not. Could I be surprised? Hey, who knows? Wizard's done some weirder things. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave your comments and thoughts down below. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to MTG Portal because I'm not sure what you're waiting on and we'll talk to you all soon. Take care, guys. Have a fantastic night. And look for Modern Masters 2017 spoilers coming to you right here as soon as they drop. We'll talk to you all soon. Peace out.